Hey everybody, it's Jason Turpin from Turpin Landscape Design Build. We love designing, building, and maintaining outdoor living spaces. However, every once in a while, things happen. We had an aerator break in the bottom of a pond. So instead of us getting frustrated and worried about it, we decided to come up with a way that would allow us to go to the bottom and fix it. But I wanted to show you what it would be like. Here I am at Best Buy. I need to get some things and then I need to go home and pack. I'm going to go pick up a friend of mine. Wait till you see what's going on on this trip. And this is just the training in order to be able to fix it. Outside Allentown, Pennsylvania, there's a place called Dutch Springs. It's a training facility for scuba diving. Once certified to scuba dive, I'm sure I'll have a lot of fun on vacations, but I'll also be able to fix this pond. So we loaded up the camping gear, two of my sons, Kyle and Logan, and headed to Dutch Springs. We are diving tomorrow. We're getting certified, maybe. We were hanging out by the fire, and yeah, we even streamed the Penn State game. Night went fast, ate breakfast, had coffee, ready to get going. Dutch Springs is an old quarry, and when they could no longer keep pumping the water out of it, it was filling up too fast, they decided to just let it fill up. Some of the old equipment stayed. The visibility was not real good when we first went in. There was an algae bloom. Once we got down to the platforms, it started to get better. There's platforms for training. So after leaving the 30 foot platforms, we headed down to about 65 feet, where we saw an old crane. While underwater looking at all the rocks, my mind was going crazy. So many ideas for all the water features that we built. John and I were definitely having a good time underwater, but I think the kids were having just as much fun up top. So as we wrapped up our dive, it was time to head back to the surface, pack up, head home, and fix the pond. You ever just had better days at work than others? Today's a pretty good one. We were out here at, uh, a couple years ago and we rebuilt a farm pond. We lined it and put rocks and gravel in it. But one of the aerators in the bottom of the pond actually cracked. So luckily I just got certified to go scuba diving. I'm gonna go down here and fix it. I'll probably take a few pictures and check out underwater why I'm, why I'm down. So normally this is a simple fix and we would be able to just pull the line up. But because we covered the entire pond with rocks and gravel, we buried the line because we knew that the water would be clear and we didn't want to see down to the aerator itself. So because of that, we had to scuba dive down to the bottom. A few simple tools got it fixed, so it wasn't a huge deal. Getting to the bottom was the hardest part. All I really had to do was unthread the hose clamp, pull the hose off, 
put the new the hose back on the new piece, and tighten the hose clamp back up. Feels great to hit my goal of being a certified diver, and it was also nice to be able to put that to use here at work. Once done, thought it'd be fun to just swim around the pond a little bit, about 10 feet deep. Check out the stand pipe that's there. It's an overflow, but also we're able to drain it from the bottom. Congratulations, John. And until next time, keep building that outdoor dream.